Hola, buenos días, soy Nico. I can't stand that dusty, dirty ass, funky bottom. How you a crackhead in a sissy, bitch? Pick a shrug. And today we're here to talk about something that's not necessarily as serious. Um, <laughs> I say that because the last few episodes have been slightly serious pertaining to the subject matter. But now I want to get back to a brief casual conversation of, I don't know why y'all are adding me in content based around Grandy Glaze. Nico, before we get started on that, if you like this kind of content, make sure to follow me on patreon.com slash Nico's Aesthetics for more exclusive lives with the videos and be a part of the podcast which should be airing. We actually just finished another episode, so I'm just going to pre-bulk and set release dates for them like I did when I went on that cruise, and we will be Gucci. But moving on to the actual topic. So Grandy Glaze <laughs> is apparently the star of a new web series run by Signal 23. Nico, what is Signal 23? Think like extremely raunchy gay web series that don't have an actual plot. No, I'm not talking about the Bad Boys franchise that I've covered in the past, which I didn't necessarily see the need for because it's a horrible representation of our people. But moving on, people love it. Y'all view it, y'all stream it, y'all give it money. It continues to get made out of my hands. So basically, he got hired to do a scripted web series based around simulated super happy adult fun time. Nico, what do you mean? Even in the trailer, <laughs> if you watch the trailer, you get no understanding of the story or the lack thereof is more transparently seen is the better way to put it. It's basically a bunch of simulated super happy adult fun time scenes with Grandy Glaze, other performers, sometimes other performers engaging. If you're unfamiliar with Signal 23, they push the borderline of adult content. Let's say it that way. They will have a loosely written script that doesn't necessarily need to be good or have an actual continuous storyline, and they'll flood the actual episode with back-to-back -back simulated super happy adult fun time scenes. Um, think of web series like Tex Brown, I think that's what that's called, um, About Him. About Him actually had a good storyline and it actually had super happy adult fun time scenes that made sense in the connotation of the story. A lot of others do not. Also, if you like that show, I also just worked recently with one of the stars, Brandon Carson. <laughs> I'll put the picture up there, maybe a little snippet. If that interests you, check out my super happy adult fun time with Nico. Listen, <laughs> I rarely plug that platform, but I'm actively trying to do more work and be more goal oriented. So if that interests you, if you like that series, if you want to see a stolen intimate moment in the beautiful city of New York, check it out. <laughs> But moving on back to the actual story, someone basically commented what I was thinking, expanding on the why is everything so hypersexualized in the community. I know I said that right after plugging my adult platform. Point is, <laughs> why is all of our web series divulging around this to the point that there's not actually a story in the trailer? Nico, I can't even show you like clips of the trailer. The actual trailer shows Grandy Glaze opening the door for Mr. Good Good or whatever his name is. He's fine, still fine as hell. And it's just simulated sex scene. And it simulated poorly, I might add. He like took his pants down, spread it open, and put his forehead on this man's butt. And, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm the, always the first one to call out simulated scenes because, girl, if you're going to do it, just do it. But in this situation, I'm like, y'all didn't even try to make it look believable. He dead ass stuck his forehead on this man's butthole. So I, I just don't understand the appeal y'all have with Grandy Glaze to the point that you know he's not gay. He's already acknowledged that he's not gay and he will never have super happy adult fun time with a gay man or with a man in general. Everything that he has done has been simulated and or have heartily performed. And... I, you know what? At the end of the day, I don't understand it, but I'm not going to fault you for wasting your money. If you want to give your money to a blatant lie and or scam, for a better lack of words, like Jacoby collab scam, um, Malik collabs usually scam. So if you want to waste your money on a scam, that's perfectly fine. But as a community, why don't we expect more from our content? And I mean, 
why aren't we satisfied with a good story? Because when the conversation of Moonlight was had, I remember this specifically, because I was saying it is one of the best queer representations of Black queer reality from the possible exposing that Chiron went through and the jumping and then the whole regressing back into more of a DL trade lifestyle for his own sense of security. Y'all know what y'all told me? Not, I'm not gonna say everybody, not everybody ignorant, but a group of people say, why wasn't they hunching? I want to see Chiron get his back blown out. It's like, not, <laughs> not every piece of media needs nonstop simulated super happy adult fun time. And this is somebody who, who makes adult content, you know? I sometimes like to sit down and watch a cute story. Like the way he looks, um, that's a good Brazilian movie. It is a beautiful story about how a blind questioning boy found love in a transfer student that moved to his school. And it's just sweet and innocent. And yes, there is a saucy moment, but it's not like raunchy. Like it's not, it wasn't overly raunchy. And even in my scenes, like I, I talk about how, yes, it might be contradictory for someone who dabbles in the scene to talk about this. But even in my scenes, it's like, it's intimate, it's romantic. I don't do super raunchy. So to expect that at constant in my day to day, especially when it's coming to media consumption is, exha is exhausting. Cause you know, I usually come on here and I tell you about gay series that I enjoy, gay movies that I enjoy. It's been a minute since I did that. People were still waiting for the Noah's Ark um, watch party for season two. I'll get onto that eventually. But to the point that your trailer has no actual dialogue, no words are spoken, no names are you know given. There's no premise other than Grandy Glaze and simulated super happy adult fun time gay scenes. I I don't I don't get it. <laughs> and maybe I'm being hypercritical by saying there should be a story in the story, but the fact that especially Signal 23, because at least in the beginning of their, you know, franchise, they tried to actively have story and actively have like a plot that moved along to see it just divulge it to, okay, well, it's a slideshow of simulated sex scenes. It's, it's disheartening to both someone who enjoys the arts and also to creatives who feel like their art has to just be boiled down to, oh, look, sex. <laughs> but I definitely want to hear your opinions down below. How do you feel about the quote unquote Grandy Glaze gay web series, seeing as how he is a heterosexual man? I understand on Bobby Light, I love you, Purr, he said he was bisexual, but he stayed in the closet because of his Jamaican, you know, family ties. But in the past, he has reaffirmed that he would never have sex with a man. And the only time I see him in like gay spaces is when he's hired to be there. Like, I believe he was hired to dance at ATL Pride. When people were making fun of his dance moves, I did not join in. I did acknowledge that how he has a really big butt, but he can't twerk. It's interesting because a lot of people with muscle can't. But aside from that, I'm not the most rhythmic. I'm not the most, you know, choreo heavy, so I wasn't going to clown him. But the point is, he's only in these gay spaces when he's getting paid. So willingly pay him to fake content, blatantly so, like it's not even hidden behind editing. I just don't get it. How do you feel about web series, first and foremost, circling around straight people in pseudo gay situations how do you feel about a lot of the web series nowadays no longer even incorporating story but just relying on the hypersexuality of the community to do the marketing for it and how do you feel about pieces of art that are criticized for not being more raunchy or sexually liberated when as a whole it still tells a very compelling and deep story i definitely want to hear your opinions down below especially because it's a gay for like a, uh, I don't get it, but I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna get off the topic. But yes, I definitely want to hear your opinions down below. Boop. And now for a brief yet sincere shout out to this week's third eye tier subscribers, Jaden W and Eugene S. Your continued support is greatly appreciated, and thank you once again to everyone who supports the channel. And this week's live stream discussion will be over queer media starring heterosexual men. If that sounds interesting to you, definitely check it out.